Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie a wood duck and hare lock fly. The hook I have in the vise is an 80050. It is a size 10. It is a curved shank straight eye nymph dry hook from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. We're going to start out, I'm going to put a little bit of weight on there just to help get, get it through the film and get it down in the water column a little bit. I'm just going to use 10 thousandths lead wire. And we're going to start this about halfway. And we're going to wrap this. We're not going to go all the way up forward. Just want this weight to be right in the middle. That's pretty good. Like I said, we just want some to help get it down through the water column there a little quicker. Yeah, wrap that little last little piece there. thread I'm going to use is 70 denier. This is a brown thread, a dark brown thread. We're going to start this behind the eye and we're going to bring it back and secure the lead wraps. Several wraps right in back of it, several wraps right in front of it. It's not a real big uh, necessity to make a taper from the shank to the lead wraps because we're going to be using dubbing for the body and that won't leave any uh, step. We're going to bring our thread back. We're going to bring that thread back just about to the point, maybe a little bit further. For our tail and also for our wing, we're going to use a natural wood duck color. And here I removed some of the, I removed the fluff and the undesirable hackle barbels. And I only need this piece for the wing. And this piece here is going to be for our tail. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. And we want our tail to be about half the length of the hook shank. Go ahead and tie that on. I'm going to keep it towards my side slightly and then when I tighten it it will come out on top. Go ahead and give that a wrap underneath. Help hold that up. You can see there's a little bit of a natural curve going up and that I used with that uh, the natural curve of the feather. Go ahead and wrap this forward and I'm going to take that and wrap that back and I still need to trim off just a little bit. I thought I would get away with trimming but obviously I didn't. Now before I go all the way back I'm going to go ahead and put the rib in and for the rib I'm going to use a extra fine copper wire and this is just a copper wire from an old motor clock motor and we're going to bring that back to the tail now for the body I'm going to use hair's ear and this is light dumbing before I do that I'm going to use some uh, wax on the thread and there's a uh, 100% beeswax I got from uh, Streamside Furled Leaders. And this wax is for waxing your furled leaders, but it's 100% beeswax and it comes in very handy to use in fly tying. Now we're going to take our hair's ear dubbing and we're going to dub the body. And 
And this here is where I'm going to start out rather thin just for those few three or four wraps to the rear section of the fly right by the tail there. Then I'm going to put it on there a little bit heavier. I'm going to wrap that on. I have to come back a little bit first and then I'm going to go forward. And I'm going to have to add some some more to it. Another section. And I want to stop about an eye length from the eye of the hook. Maybe one and a half. Now for our hackle, our body hackle, we're going to use a natural colored hackle. This is almost a dry fly hackle and I folded the hackles all over to one side I'm going to tie this in by the facing forward from the bottom then I'm going to fold it back and secure it and that large stem I'm just going to break it off I'm going to take my hackle my hackle pliers and we're going to wrap this Palmer it going towards the rear and having that hackle folded over is going to help us with the hackle pointing towards the rear We'll get one last wrap out of that. Now I'm going to hold it there. I'm going to take my rib and we're going to secure that. Drop my hackle plier. Not a big deal as long as you have that rib tight. Now we're going to continue wrapping that. This is going to secure the hackle. I'm going to bring that right up to the front. Go ahead and tie that off. Break off our rib and break off our hackle tip. For our wing, I'm going to take the wood duck flank feather we're going to tie that in. We're going to put a couple of wraps on there. And then we're going to pull it to length. You don't want them too tight. And we want that wing to go just slightly into the tail slightly to the curb. Then we could go ahead and secure that. Remove the excess. And tidy up that head. For our hackle I'm going to use a natural partridge feather. Nice natural color. And I have the fibers pulled to the rear. I'm going to tie it in by the tip. And we'll go ahead and trim off that little bit of excess. Three. We're going to put the hackle pliers on. I'm going to fold all of the hackle towards the rear and just stroke it towards the rear as we're going. I'm 
and we're only going to need about two wraps is all it's going to take to use up that hackle. We're going to tie that in. Hold everything to the rear and secure it. And then we'll trim away the excess. Clean up that head there a bit. And now we can use this fly just as it is. I'm going to go ahead and put accent of jungle cock on there. I'm going to make them go a little bit towards the top. I'm going to go ahead and take the other and tie that in on this side. And clean up that head. Trim away that stem. Give it a whip finish. And here we have a mallard and hair lock fly. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.